Hey everybody, Brian from My Adventures, and today we've got the beautiful Smoky Mountains in the background, and we are going to do a collaboration with Mel from 400 AGL. Hey everybody, Mel here, 400 AGL. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. Got stuff set up out in the front yard, and I've got a collaboration video going with Brian from My Adventures. Brian, how you doing? I'm doing good, Mel. How are you? Oh man, it's a beautiful sunny day over here in West Arkansas. What do you got over there in East Tennessee? It is about three o'clock here today. The sun is beaming. There's not a cloud in the sky and beautiful clear skies. We are close to a uh, helicopter's tourist place. It's two miles away, but we're only gonna fly about a thousand feet out and back for this return to home altitude test that we're doing today on the Mavic 2 Air. The, the video I saw the other day um, the guy that was flying it when he hit return to home, his return to home altitude was lower than what his drone was. So the drone did not descend to that return to home altitude. It simply flew back at the set altitude that he was at. So that, what's that? That's on a Mavic Mini too, correct? That was on a Mavic Mini. Yeah, exactly. So that, that showed what the Mavic Mini does. We're going to find out what the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Air do and then we can pretty much assume that probably all of dji drones if you are higher than your return to home altitude is set the drone will not descend to that altitude and then return home it will return home at whatever altitude you're at that's the that's the result we expect to see but let's go flying brian you want to go first so I'm going to go ahead and do my first test at a return to home at 200 feet. And I'm going to fly up to 300 feet from where I take off at. So let's go ahead and, and see how this works. Now my screen recorder is running and I'm going to give her a shot. So take her up about 500, 600 feet away from you. Mm -hmm. So my current altitude is, or I'm, I'm 1,103 feet away. I'm gonna fly up to 300 feet. And your return to home altitude is still set at 200 feet, correct? Correct, my, my return to home altitude is set at 200 feet and I'm currently at 309 feet altitude at 1,102 feet away. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the ever so famous return to home button. Something that I very rarely do guys, I usually fly my drone home and if I lose signal, I usually still try to fly it home. If I lose sight of my drone or um, if I'm in a situation where the drone's lower than, than where I can actually see on a horizon if I'm inspecting or if I'm doing a cinematic flight and I have to hit the return to home button, uh, I will, but I've only hit it a few times since I've been flying drones. Uh, most of the time the drone will actually if you lose signal It'll say returning to home automatically and then once I get my video back I'll take back over my drone and actually fly it the rest of the way home once I get my video signal back Very very rarely have I let it go all the way to return to home and use precision landing and all that So this is the third time that I can recall hitting this button and third time's a charm So let's go ahead and hit it and see what happens Let's get her done I'm gonna be curious to see how it goes So, according to my telemetry, my drone is flying at 308 feet and it is coming home. So it's not descending. It's uh, staying around 308, 309 feet and it's already back to 682 feet away from me. So the drone is coming back at the same altitude that I was currently hovering at and did not descend down to 200 feet to come back. Now the drone is 
200 and 150, 100, 96. I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera down so that way you guys don't have to look at a blown out sun horizon. So the drone is now coming down to 275 feet, 260 feet, 250, 248. And we're gonna see where this thing lands. Now I didn't mark where the drone took off from, but I know about where it took off from. Currently it looks like it's gonna land on my head, but we're gonna see. It was just a few feet away from where I'm standing at filming this. Okay, I'm back down on the ground at uh, zero elevation. Um, I'm actually I'm actually one foot away from on my controller. As far as the drone landing where it took off from, it's about 27 to 30 inches away from where I took off at. So there you have it, guys. The drone came back at 309 feet, which is what I was flying at and hovering at at a thousand feet away. It did not descend to 200 feet. Returned to home. And I'm taking my drone. I'm flying it at 110 feet and I am now uh, about 500 feet away, 600 feet away, 650 feet away at 111 feet. I'm going to go up to 150 feet, well, 100 and, okay, 170 feet or so. And there's the drone hovering. I, I'm, the, the camera is pointed directly away from me. I just took off and flew straight out. So now I'm going to hit return to home. And let's see what the thing says it's going to do. Did I push the button? Oh, I forget on this controller, you got to hold it. There, now it says going home. The drone just did a 180 degree turn and it is staying at 164 feet. So I've got the same result, Brian. It's, it's returning back and I've got to cancel the auto land because I don't want it to land on top of this tree. I'm going to point my camera down as well and bring it in manually. Get over the rooftops there a little bit, back it up a little bit, bring it over to the left a little bit now. Okay, there it is, bring the camera up, and there I am in all my DJI glory. So there you have it everybody, you can manipulate the altitude changes, increase and decrease on return to home but you cannot manipulate any of the other controls until the drone actually reaches the home point up in the air at the return to home altitude. So if you've got it set at 200 and it's coming back, you can change the altitude, you can change the gimbal, but you can't do anything else. Once the drone reaches home point up in the air at 200, 300 feet, whatever you have it set at, and it starts its descent, then you can start manipulating all the controls and you can actually change where the drone lands on its return to home and you can decrease and increase altitude as well during that part of it. Uh, so I actually took off from over here and then manipulating the controls after the descent, I landed it 40 feet away. And I think the reason why DJI set that up like that was so that if your return to home altitude is 200 feet, it comes back and starts coming down and you realize that it's not gonna come down in a good safe place, you can move your drone to a, another place 15, 20, 30 feet away and turn your orientation of your drone so that you can fly it in the return to home descent but you cannot change any of the flight characteristics except for altitude on the way back. So hope you guys liked today's video. I hope you like the collaboration that I did with Mel over at 400 AGL. And there you have it. 
there's about as much information as we can give you on a couple different drones today as far as the return to home altitude changing and whether it lowers, higher, how it flies back, all that. And I hope you guys really like that backdrop because that is the Smoky Mountain and I'm gonna turn the camera after I walk out of the shot and give you guys just a little bit of a pano of how far this mountain range goes all the way around. Like and subscribe to both of our channels. Stick around and stay tuned and we will be back for some more.